to share with you all three packs that I recently purchased from a company called GORUCK. This is the GORUCK GR1 uh, 21 liter. This is the GORUCK GR1 26 liter. This is the GORUCK GR2 34 liter. The GR1 21 liter is 18 inches tall. The GR1 26 liter is 20 inches tall. And the GR2 34 liter is also 20 inches tall. These bags are very similar. The difference is there's an extra uh, full pocket on the front where there are, there are more uh, additional internal organizational pockets. So this is a representation of the packs from the front. These packs have been filled with items so that way you can see what they would look like reasonably full. Um, these two colors here are wolf gray. They're looking a little bit lighter in, in the video than what they are appear in person, just a little bit. And this is the Java colorway. Um, and the Java, there's a story on a uh, GoRucks website. The, on, the owner's dog actually was named Java and Java passed away. So they ended up coming out with this pack kind of as a tribute to uh, Java, the chocolate lab. So those are the three, three packs. Uh, front front on I'm going to turn them sideways so you can see what they look like thickness wise from the side Again, this is the GORUCK GR2 in 34 liters This is the GORUCK GR1 in 26 liters and this is the GORUCK GR1 in 21 liters 18 inches tall 20 inches tall 20 inches tall so you can get an idea there for the thickness um, from here, I will go ahead and open up the bags and let you see the differences on the inside. And I also have a laptop over to the side here that I'm gonna show you how it fits in each one of these three bags. Now I have all three bags empty, so that way we can go through the bags. And uh, again, in a side-by-side -side comparison, we can see exactly um, the differences and the similarities between the bags. Forgive my dog's tail for cutting across the video. Um, on the, the, again, this is the GR1 uh, in the 21 liter. There is a front slant cut pocket with a, a shield for the zipper here against rain. You can, I don't know if you'll be able to see in the video, but you can also see that this uh, zipper here and all the zippers are reversed from the normal orientation to keep out dirt and rain and uh, mud, all those, all things of those natures. So here, there's a pocket in the front that goes down uh, the length of the bag. So about three quarters of the length of the bag. It's not terribly um, uh, deep as far as this way, but you know it's good enough if you wanted to have something in here to grab quickly your wallet, um, a phone, uh, bus pass, something of that nature. And then the other pocket here is the main compartment and inside of that main compartment there are one two three rows of molly here and there is a uh, expansive elastic pocket here this is cordura but there's elastic on either side so whatever you stick in here it'll really kind of uh, hold it tight this is the just main compartment the bag does open up and lay flat if you need to um, from there, there is a small pocket at the top here. Again, it's not a huge pocket, but it's enough to hold little odds and ends. Um, there's a larger mesh pocket here, and you can put other items down here that uh, you may want to be able to see or maybe a little bit larger. And the final compartment on the bag is back here, and that is the quote unquote bomb proof laptop compartment and the there is a, a frame sheet i believe you can hear that there's a frame sheet in here and also this is padded and you can slide a uh laptop in here. Shiba laptop and this laptop is 15 inches of uh, this in this dimension 10.2 inches in this dimension and 0 0.09 inches in this dimension so you can kind of get an idea for what you could fit in here. So this is gonna be a little bit too tall and a little bit too wide for this bag. You're not gonna be able to zip it up in this compartment. Again, this is the GORUCK GR1 21 liter. 
So, we'll move from the GORUCK GR121 liter to the GORUCK GR126 liter. This bag is the identical uh, layout of the other bag. However, there's an additional two inches of height with this bag. So that's where you get the increased volume from 21 to 26 liters. So, <clears throat> excuse me. You have the slash pocket on the front. Again, protected. Again, the zippers are reversed. So you can see that here. The zippers are reversed from their normal orientation. And again, this pocket goes to the bottom of the bag and it runs about three quarters of the length of the total front flap. From there, you move on to the main compartment where again, there are one, two, three rows of Molly. There is another elastic uh, pocket here, Cordora, but elastic band at the top to keep everything cinched up, whatever you put in here. Um, what I do notice about these two bags is, and this could be relatively speaking, but this pocket is much shorter than this pocket um, in the bag. So I even find that even if these bags were scaled to be the same size, this pocket would still sit a little bit lower. This pocket is still a good bit higher. So that is one difference that I did notice. Um, <clears throat> again, you have here a small um, non-see-through pocket, non-mesh pocket, good for quick ac access items if you don't want to fully unzip the bag. You have a larger mesh pocket that runs the rest of the bag. So this covers about a third of the bag front flap. This covers about two thirds of the front flap. And on the back, you have the same bomb proof laptop compartment. Again, this is scaled up because this is a 20 inch tall bag. So you have the same you can't hear it as well there, but you have the same frame sheet, you have some padding here on the back, and then you have the uh, bomb proof laptop pocket. So again, this is a 15 inch laptop. I'm gonna stick this down in here to show you how it would fit. It fits in here and zips up easily. You can see that here. So the GR1 easily holds this 15 inch laptop. And that brings us to our final bag, which is the GORUCK GR2 um, 34 liter bag. So the difference here is, well, I'll point out a couple of differences. On the GR1, you have three rows of Molly on the front, one, two, three. So even on the smaller uh, GORUCK GR1, you have one, two, three rows of Molly. Here, on the GORUCK GR2, you have one, two, three, four rows of Molly. So we will now go into the, the front slash pocket of the bag, excuse me. And this pocket, again, runs three quarters the length of the front flap. It, uh, it's not too deep. You open up the first compartment of the bag here, which um, this is the main difference between the GR1 and the GR2. So <clears throat> if we start from the outside, you again have two main pockets. The top pocket opens the same as the other ones here, and that is a, a small, about maybe, maybe a little bit less than a third. I'd say this is more of a quarter the size of the bag. And it's a uh, Cordura, you can't see through it. The second pocket is see-through and it runs, I would say, three quarters of the bag, however you access it from the side. So if you remember on the other bags, this pocket also zipped across from the top this way. Moving on to this portion, and I think this is, this is what will uh, appeal to more people if they're looking for more organization in an everyday carry bag. Uh, if you don't want to unzip the bag the entire way, you can unzip it this far and you have access to a built-in field pocket or admin pocket or whatever you want to call it. This again is 1000D Cordura. The bag 
opens up. It's built in to the actual main bag. And there are two different mesh compartments here. One that runs uh, roughly, I'd say, three quarters of the width of this pocket, and one that runs a quarter of the width of that pocket. But then you can also put things in here, and this pocket can also expand. So this is a pretty good pocket in and of itself for just everyday carry. Then you have a second pocket down here that you access from the opposite direction that runs, I would say, roughly three quarters the length of the, the, this pocket. So you have tons of organization here in just these four pockets, not to mention the simple fact that you can also put things in the pocket itself. So this bag is going to be able to carry quite a bit more. That is the main difference between the GR1 and the GR2 is going to be this front pocket. Now this bag comes in the 34 liter which you're looking at here and it also comes in the 40 liter uh, also. Now the 34 liter is the same height as the GR1, the 40 liter is 2 inches taller. So this bag is 20 inches tall and the 40 liter is 22 inches tall. The <clears throat> next compartment is slightly different than on the GR1, even though it's the same size. You have a pocket here that is made out of mesh. The uh, main pocket on the GR1, if you remember, was Cordura, you couldn't see through it. It opens from the top like the other one in the GR1 did. Uh, again, another quick access pocket. You have a pocket down here that runs three quarters of the bag that's mesh, that opens from the side. You can put your hand in this way, Again, easy access, lots of items. You can also see here that this is very similar to the other bags. It has the elastic pocket here. It has, the, it has four rolls of molly here. And if you remember, this has four rolls of molly on the outside versus the GR1's three. And then you have just the main compartment itself. Uh, finally, on the back, you have the bomb-proof laptop compartment which should be the same as it was on the other bag, on the GR1. Let's see if our laptop fits into this compartment here. And again, it fits and it fits easily. You can see that there is plenty of room for this to zip up and close. You can see that it is going to be an easy fit for plenty of gear and a full-size laptop. So. This has been a comparison of the GR2 in 34 liters at 20 inches tall, the GR1 in 26 liters at 20 inches tall, and the GR1 in 20 liter, 21 liters at 18 inches tall. So if you have any questions, please feel free to put them down below. Uh, this was just an overview and a comparison. I noticed that there wasn't one of those videos. Uh, I wanted to get this out so everyone could have a direct comparison because I believe that these are the three most popular sizes um, that I've seen going around. The GR1 being the most popular. Um, some people prefer the GR2 and then the uh, smaller GR1 with some fanfare as well. If you have any questions, again, please put them down below. I'm going to do a separate video on all three of these bags. I have some uh, administrative pockets coming in and that's going to be uh, something I talk about with these two bags because as you saw, these two bags don't have the same level, nearly the same level of organization as this bag does. Again, I appreciate you guys watching and I hope to catch you in the next video.